it's like putting a big target on yourself and I just don't want to ruin my bag. There's just no reason that anyone would need a designer bag. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Always trying to grow my channel, so all your help would be amazing. You can also join my membership, which I opened up a few weeks ago. I do post one video a week for members only. Be sure to check that out as well. I had a really amazing suggestion for a video topic yesterday from Lady Harriet. So thank you so much, Lady Harriet. I think it is such a pivotal uh, topic we can talk about in this day and age. I actually find it quite hard to find places to wear my Chanel Hermes or luxury bags. If it's going out for a drink with friends, I worry about a drink spilling on it. So it's definitely no. Going to restaurants and afternoon teas are great, but honestly, there are only so many times I can do that. Shopping around in London these days is just too scary to take anything remotely expensive looking out and about. Crime rate is all an all-time high in London. Going to work, definitely a no. I don't want my employees to judge me, and, I, and I'm in a senior position. Still not a great as a first impression to be to think negatively of me, like I'm earning too much money or something. Honestly, Birkin is very heavy, let alone to put a laptop charger in it, etc. Et very bad idea. It would be great to hear your views and experiences because of the reasons above, I actually re rarely use any of my luxury bags. And if I use them, I hide it under my blazer or a jacket. I just think, what is the point anyway? If you're not interested in this topic, no worries. I still love your videos. Thank you, Lady Harriet. So what basically Lady Harriet is saying is that every single like opportunity she gets to wear her bags it just doesn't seem like the right circumstance and to be completely honest with you guys same same for me I honestly found that I wore my luxury bags more depending on where I was working so I found like sometimes uh, you guys know I've worked in luxury retail in the past it wasn't that weird to wear a luxury bag in a luxury retail job because Especially if you wore bags that you got in the staff sale or it was just a little bit less of a shock to see luxury bags because you're working in that environment. And then I remember often people did wear luxury bags either from previous jobs or from that job. So it wasn't that weird. Uh, but I have had jobs where I feel like it definitely is weird to wear a luxury bag and it kind of seems like... Yeah, you don't want to show like you're earning too much money or you are trying to show off, particularly wearing a Birkin. You, you guys know that um, I have two Birkins, so I have a Birkin 30, very stunning. And I find it very hard to find occasions to wear these, even though I do love them and I don't want to sell them. But wearing a Birkin to work is... A huge statement to make and not to mention that sometimes at work you know people have pens everywhere and stuff and it's just not appropriate so I find I can only wear my Birkins if I'm out shopping and it has to be in like an area that is safe so yeah Lady Harriet like for me in the city I, I love going to into Melbourne and shopping around it's not the worst to wear a Birkin but I wouldn't recommend it if you're going out by yourself because I did wear my uh, Kelly 32 once in the city, my black one. I was wearing it and then Alex said that he saw a guy eyeing me off and like he was kind of walking very close behind me, kind of looking like he wanted to take my bag and then Alex said, let's turn a corner. So even, I thought this wouldn't be that flashy because it's like just a black bag, but it, I guess like people who mug people do know what to look out for. So there are bags like that that maybe aren't safe to wear. And particularly Chanel bags with the CC logo, they're all very easy to recognize. So I find that for me in the city, I feel safer wearing a more low-key bag. So something like this, like no one really knows what it is. Or even something like this. Um, it's... Like, you wouldn't really know, so I would wear something like that out shopping, but I feel like a Birkin, it's always a massive... It's like putting a big target on yourself, I feel like. And then, you're right, like, for work, even if, you, if, if I had, like, a job in a corporate position, it still wouldn't be appropriate. And even if you are in a higher position, it... it it's sometimes not a good look to, to wear it, so I get where you're coming from. I think the only way at work... It wouldn't be weird to wear it like a Birkin is if you owned your own business because then you kind of make the rules. Maybe, but even then you don't want to show to your employees that... I don't know, it definitely depends. I think there are definitely people who take their Birkins to work, like surely. 
and particularly if it becomes normal at work, like everyone is wearing a burqa to work, I think that's the thing. If nobody around you is really doing it, it's kind of weird. So that's why I also feel like if more people just wore their luxury bags everywhere, maybe it wouldn't be so weird and you wouldn't feel like you're standing out or making a statement too much. But it also comes down to safety because, yeah, when you're out in the city, you don't want to be a target and you don't want to get mugged. And in terms of going out to drinks with your friends and that sort of thing, I also feel similar about that because I know that when I'm at a bar, um, it's not always the cleanest, like the table might have sticky stuff on it or, you know, it might be quite crowded, there's people around you and you're not going to, I don't really feel comfortable taking my more expensive bags out to a bar just based on the environment. And even if you like, you know, walking around outside a lot or it, it's you're living in a city that is raining a lot, like in Melbourne here, it's raining, uh, and it does rain quite often and I find that there's many days where I don't want to wear any nice bag because I know that it might start raining and I don't want my bag to get wet and I just don't want to ruin my bag. So there's also that obstacle that stops me from wearing my bags as well. So if I find that it's actually, uh, to be honest, it's actually harder to find appropriate times to wear my luxury bags these days than, um, like find a time to wear it because I find like it's just not practical and like recently um I picked up a job working at Persifair just casually and I found that for that I sometimes need to bring my laptop and then I'm also carrying my laptop and then my bag I feel like I need like a laptop bag but I don't want to buy like a designer laptop bag let alone like I'm, I'm thinking it would be so cool to have like a Birkin 35 to put my laptop in but you know, as you said, Lady Harriet, like a Birkin 35 is so heavy to put a laptop in there and then all this stuff. And it just is stupid anyway, because that, like that is such an expensive bag to have for work that you're going to trash. So, yeah, I just feel like also for that purpose of work, it's something that you really trash. Like, do you really want to ruin it? Do you want to spend that much money on something that you're going to destroy? Like, I don't know. I don't really want to, guys. Like, for me, I've determined that bags are something that I like to collect and look at and wear when I can but I, I've already accepted the fact that they're not I do not need them for practical purpose like there's just no reason that anyone would need a designer bag because you can get a nice looking bag you guys know this for a lot less from a, a contemporary bag you can get a no-name brand secondhand you can get uh, bags are not rare guys you can get a bag anywhere it's more that if you're kind of very passionate about a brand or you got very sucked into the marketing of it or you just love watching handbag youtube it's like collecting anything you kind of get sucked into it and then you start to gather it up and just think oh that's so pretty it's kind of like yeah, I don't know, guys, if I'm just like a squirrel gather gathering up bags for the, you know, the future or whatever. But sometimes I feel like I'm just like gathering all these cute things together and it makes me feel like, oh, this it makes me feel kind of safe to have these like really pretty objects. And I know that I don't only do that with bags. I do it with like cute little plushies. Like at the moment, I put up my Christmas tree already and it's covered in Pop Mart toys. Like I just have that tendency to collect bags because they make me happy and they're really pretty to look at. It's not really for wearing all the time. And I've come to accept that, especially in this day and age, it is not always safe to wear your designer bag. And I know that a lot of people say you should just wear your designer bag every day, but it really is just... It just, it does not appropriate sometimes, like, because it's raining, because you're going to work and it's not going to work out for that environment, because, you know, where you're going is a bit of a party vibe, so you don't want people spilling your drinks on the bag, because, like, there's a lot of excuses, guys. So, yeah, that's how I feel, but I am thinking to make a video tomorrow about designer bags that I think can work in all occasions, because I do think that there's some. I think the main ones that don't work is like the very identifiable bag. So for example, Birkin does not work in every situation. It makes too much of a statement. Um, but I do think that something like this is okay for like most occasions. Even if it's raining, it's a pretty durable leather. So something like that, which is also why I feel like the quiet luxury trend is coming to play because there are like bags that don't have a logo or you wouldn't know um, that you can kind of wear for most occasions. So there's that. Um, and then I also feel like the Chanel classic flap is very hard to wear for most occasions because it's too identifiable and then it's not a very practical bag either, doesn't fit anything. 
Uh, and then, you know, bags like Louis Vuitton Monogram, also not always appropriate because it's very identifies, identifiable as Louis Vuitton. So it could make a false impression at work or something. But again, it it's all individual. It all depends on everyone's individual lifestyle. I'm sure that there's people out there who find no um, problem in wearing their bag all day, every day, their designer bag. But I, what Lady Harriet wrote, I could really relate to that. Because I do feel like I'm at a stage in my life where designer bags are not actually like a need. I do definitely do not need a designer bag. It's more something that I've collected and I love to learn about. Yeah, I basically just like looking at them and having them. They're just like little ornaments at this point. I do wear them, but I don't wear them all the time. Not every day. But I do try and wear one Hermes bag a day, to be honest. I find, as I said, the ones that are not as expensive, the ones that I paid like under 2000 on, I will wear more. Like even something like this... A plume bag I got for under 2000 so for me I will reach for this more because it's just I'm not as precious about it let me know what you guys think about Lady Harriet's comment as well Are you, is this why a lot of people have stopped collecting handbags because you feel like it's pointless and you don't even wear them because for me collecting handbags is not necessarily about getting cost per wear it's more about just like having a beautiful object <laughs> so yeah anyways guys uh, let me know what you think um, do you still think handbags are a complete waste of money and yeah, I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Stay tuned for my um, next video as well because I'm going to carry on the conversation. I'm going to be talking about designer bags that I feel like are a little bit easier to wear in most occasions. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!